Right then, ladies and gents. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Netflix series, Spies. This is pretty big news, actually. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger hasn't been in an extended TV series role for a really long time. And Netflix have nabbed him. Like, how? <laughs> I mean, he's not really doing a lot with his time, but this is pretty big news. Big news anyway, just because it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, from, of course, bodybuilding days and things like that. Uh, I think he's improved as an actor here and there, but he's an icon. So if he's in anything, I'm, I'll always have a look at it. So we're going to dive into this article today. It's linked down below. Also linked down below, ladies and gents, is my second channel, which, yes, I am pushing uh, a lot here and there because YouTube is dying for this channel at the moment. Uh, but I've got a second channel. It's a car channel. It's linked down below. I'm rebuilding a rally car at the moment. Please do check it out. I'd love to have my epic, epic community over there with me. Anyway, let's dive into this, right? So Netflix announced a brand new spy thriller series starring Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, and Top Gun Maverick's Monica uh, Barbaro in partnership with Skydance Television. I don't like the fact, the fact that it's Skydance. I really don't like the fact it's Skydance. They're the guys that have been behind a lot of the crap Terminator movies. Why does he keep working with Skydance? I don't understand it. Like, why? Uh, according to a press release, the series sees Schwarzenegger as a veteran CIA agent who discovers that his daughter, played by Barbaro, also happens to be a CIA agent. So it's like comedic, I would imagine. Uh, the official logline reads, When a father and daughter learn they're each secretly been working as CIA operatives for years, they realise their entire relationship has been a lie and they truly don't know one another at all. Uh, it adds, forced to team up as partners, our series tackles universal family dynamics set against a global backdrop of spies, fantastic action and humour. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think that could work. I think that could be fun. Um, yeah, don't hate it at all. So the show will be helmed by Nick Santora, who previously worked on Jack Reacher and the Fugitive series, so not bad. Not like we're not talking epic stock, but not bad. There'll be eight episodes in length, with each episode running 60 minutes. 60 minute episodes, that is long. Now, eight episodes is standard for Netflix, eight to 10, but eight nowadays, that's fine. 60 minute episodes on the surface sounds good, but Netflix have a habit of really just drawing their runtime out. So 60 minutes, you're actually looking at about a good 40 minutes of the show being substance. 60 minutes doesn't actually fill me with that much joy. Um, and I know a lot of people will be like off put by that and be like, oh, you're just being negative. But no, genuinely, they need to trim the fact they need to learn to get better editors because most of Netflix's stuff always sucks. Like it's just too long and it's the runtime that sucks. It's the, always the runtime. So Santoro will also serve as an executive producer alongside David Ellison. Skydance. Terminator Genisys. Terminator Dark Fatta. Not good. He's not good. He's really not good. That's bad. Why, Arnold Schwarzenegger, do you keep working with people that are ruining your career? Why? They're just giving you money, aren't they? That's all it is, mate. They're just giving you money. We know it. I know it. Stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. Uh, Dana Goldberg and Bill Bost. Uh, Schwarzenegger will also be an executive producer. That means nothing. He's just putting a bit of money down, trying to get a bit of money back. Not a big deal. Now, he held the project stating, Fans from all over the world have been asking me for a wild ride like this for years. And now they're finally going to get it because of our great partners at Skydance and Netflix. I hate Skydance. They have utterly destroyed the Terminator franchise. Along with James Cameron, because James Cameron sold, he got the rights back and then he sold the rights right back to Skydance. What are you doing? Uh, he added, I'm beyond pumped to start work on the show with Nick and Monica and the whole team. Netflix did not provide a release date for the series. A title has not been announced yet. So, few things to note here. This, look, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm happy that Arnold Schwarzenegger's back. Like, yeah, cool. He's an icon. He's a legend. I'd love to see him do more stuff like this. May so, so a few things with this, right? 
Do I want to see him in a spy series? Yeah, like 100%. Of course. Great. I think that would be good fun. Um, he he was in a role, was it Maggie or something like that? Where he, it's a, it's a zombie movie where he has to basically kill his daughter or something like this. I swear it was called Maggie. Um, and he plays a very, very serious role there. And it's a very good role for him where he shows a lot of range, emotional range, acting. The acting chops on him there was great. If he can combine the two and give us a really, really good performance here, that's great. I'm all, I'm all ears for that. So I think this is positive. The negatives here are 60 minutes. Normally that'd be, yeah, that's a positive. But 60 minute episodes on Netflix, no, that's not that positive. Because they need to get better editors. They need to chop up their series and films a bit more. Um, their pacing is what always ruins Netflix stuff. It's always pacing. Now, the other part is Skydance. Skydance sucks. They've ruined the Terminator series. The Terminator franchise is just in a shambles because of Skydance. And David Ellison. David Ellison is part of this. He is on board here. He's involved. He's executive producer. Not good. The other thing of this is this will potentially show us what the Netflix Terminator series is going to be. In terms of like how they're approaching it. Why? Because Skydance is involved with that as well. I'm fairly certain they're involved with that. I know the Ghost in the Shell Animation Studio is doing it, but I'm fairly certain it's in partner partnership with Skydance. So there's a few things to look out for here. Um, like the direct, that Helmer, the director, it's fine. Like Jack Reacher, Fugitive series, yeah. Like I think that's I think that's positive. Again, I can't hate Arnold Schwarzenegger doing this kind of stuff. I I do think he needs to choose better projects though. That David Ellison and Skydance, they suck. They're terrible. Stop working with them. They've been nothing but bad news for your career, Arnold. But the other part of this is, Arnold Schwarzenegger, show us what you can do for a prolonged series, how in shape you can stay, what you can do action-wise. Maybe, just maybe, Disney, who now own the Predator franchise, will ask you to come back for a proper role in a Predator film. There's a lot to take from this. This could be very big for Arnold's career now, in his later years moving forwards. It really could be. Um, especially for series and things, you know, franchises that we really want him to be in, that he's not touching at the moment. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you're new here, please do hit subscribe. Please do check you're subscribed. If you leave a like, check that YouTube doesn't remove it. Just all that good stuff. Cheers. Take care.